Hi guys, it's Elaine here, the Animal Reiki Lady, and what you're about to watch is, <laughs> is an actual uncut raw Reiki session. Can I say that 10 times fast? <laughs> raw Reiki session with these two beautiful Weimaraners. And I'm doing this for a reason, because I want to show you these guys are typically full of energy. Um, we also have a little blonde Frenchie, a blonde, blind Frenchie here. Um, and we'll see what happens. So I want you guys to see what we can do when we share an animal Reiki session. These guys are very playful, very excitable. They run around a lot. Um, so sit back and just take a few minutes and watch what a Reiki session can do for these folks. Uh, all right, these pups, hang on a second. Here we go. All right, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit down back here. Now what I'm gonna do, We'll get a little closer so you can hear. What I'm gonna do is actually go into a meditation space. I'm going to quiet my mind. I'm gonna open my heart space to them. I'm gonna ask them to join me in peace and quiet. And I'm just gonna sit quietly, that's all there is to it, and open a space that tells them it's okay to be calm, that it is okay to relax, and that when we get into a state of low stress like this, our bodies become natural healers. All right, let's see. Let's see how we do it here, guys. So I'm just going to sit back here, and hopefully you'll be able to hear me. Okay, I'm not going to do much of anything except sit down. I'm going to let them do their thing. I'm not going to stop it. I'm just going to get quiet.
let animals lead have been. Animals determine whether or not we use touch. And now just because I've started speaking again, we have a little bit more activity going on. But we'll use Peyton as the example here. Both dogs relaxed almost immediately as soon as I went into the meditation. And all animals can benefit from this peaceful, stressless connection of Reiki without touch. And think of all the animals that cannot be touched, animals in cages, animals who have been abused, animals who may be ill or injured, um, wildlife. Um, so all animals can benefit from Reiki even without touch, but other animals with the let animals lead method, that's the method that I was taught by Kathleen Persaud. It's the method that she developed, and with the let animals lead method, we let them determine whether or not they're open to touch. So you can't see right now that Shelby is laying down peacefully on the other side of the camera, but Peyton right here um, continues to be here and initially laid down without any need for touch, but then actually initiated the touch, as did Peyton. And you can do touch it, yep, we can do that. We can just rest our hand in any place that the animal chooses. We can gently pet, or we don't have to do any touch whatsoever. And now just from the sound of my voice, that to me signals the end of the session. Um, they've gotten up and left the room, which is perfectly within their right to do, as they are, um, they're sentient beings, and now they're right back to playing the way that they were. So I'm ho I hope that demonstration helped, and here we've got the beautiful little Libby who decided to lay down in my lap as well, all so appreciating all of the benefits of a Reiki healing session. All right, folks, take care, have a great day, and I will talk to you later.